I was like, I haven't streamed in a while. Maybe they stopped drawing. Because I stopped streaming. If you want to do some violence to storyboards, we're here to support you, you know? Can you draw with blood without dying? Yeah, just take your time. A lot of artists who like to paint with blood, they, they get into trouble because they just follow the same norms as everybody else. You know, in our current online art era, we get this put into everybody's head. It's like, you're supposed to draw eight hours a day. You're supposed to go as often as possible. You know, you gotta be grinding it out and all that. And the problem with hustle culture, you know, once upon a time, me and a big loaf of banana bread were walking down the street and the banana bread was like, damn, I love you, Steven. You're my best friend. And I was like, I love you too, banana bread. We're, we're the best of friends, aren't we? Thick as thieves. And the banana bread was like, love you, man. Love you. Can't get enough of you. Love spending time with you. Love looking at you. Love being near you. And I was like, me too, banana bread, man. You, you sound a little bit insecure about it. You ain't got to worry about it, dog. You know we're number one best buds forever, banana bread. I love you. And in the middle of saying that, banana bread got hit by a car. Swear to God. Hit by a fucking Rivian, man. I got down on the curb. I was like, no, banana bread. No, banana bread. No, are you okay? Fucking idiot got out of the Rivian. He's like, oh my God, I, I didn't see him. What the hell was he thinking? Why'd he step out on the curb like that? And I was like, shut the fuck up, man. You just hit my best friend, banana bread, man. <laughs> Call the cops, man. Call the cops, get an ambulance, man. Get an ambulance. Banana bread was like, Steven, Steven, come here. Come, come close, Steven. Come here. I was like, what is banana bread? What is, I'm listening, banana bread. What is it? What happened? Steven, Steven, I know you got, you got problems with abandonment. You got abandonment issues because of the way, because of the way your daddy died, Steven. So, Steven, I just want you to know this ain't your fault, man. There's no way you could have seen the Rivian coming, man. I don't want you to blame yourself for this. I'm like, banana bread, don't even think about that right now, man. It's not about that. It's just about you and me. It's just about everything being right with me. Because, Steven, I need you to understand this. This isn't your fault, all right? I love you, man. I'll always be with you, bro. I'll always be with you. I'm like, banana bread, no! And then banana bread breathes his his last breath right there in my arms man right there in my arms man he was gone before the ambulance got there banana bread we were buds banana bread i miss you banana bread where did you go oh Banana bread, I will never forget you. Banana bread, you are always in my heart. Oh, oh, banana bread, we loved you. This is the song I sang at Banana Bread's eulogy at his funeral. I got up there and I was like, I wrote a song about banana bread. I know he would have liked it. Banana bread, banana bread. Banana bread, I miss you. Banana bread, I wish you were still here. Thank you, everybody, but please stop clapping. We're at a funeral. Banana bread. Steven, it's me, God. You're dead now. What do you want to spend all of eternity doing in heaven? I want to draw troll abs. I want to draw troll abs, please, please, Jesus, please, let me draw those troll abs, please, is all I want to do, heaven is already what I had on earth, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, let me get those troll abs. Looking fresh, Steven? Oh, you know, you know. Hey man, just popping in to say for my art classes, artist research, I did it on you and got an A. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Life is chaos. That's awesome. What's weirdly common in every stream is Steven's wisdom and someone asking Steven if he read Berserk. I started reading Berserk because everyone kept saying, oh my God, you gotta read Berserk. Oh my God, with your work, you'd love Berserk. Oh my God, you gotta read Berserk. I'll be honest, it's, it's hard for me to read it. After I read a couple pages, it makes me wanna draw so bad and then I just bail. It's like the dedication, the consistency, the scale of his ambition, like, I can't get through it. It very quickly makes it feel more important to me that uh, I do my things rather than read his, which is probably the best compliment I can give him. Your imagination, if you're an artist, is a wild, expansive, just completely uncontrollable demon that consumes, chews up, and eats everything that it has shown. And it moves with more freedom than anything solid in the world. So it's no surprise that not one thing can 
keep it invested forever you know you gotta keep feeding it new things making sacrifices to it you know it's like this week it's boats and this week it's pigs this week it's clouds at magic hour and this week it's uh the arrangement of bonsai trees <laughs>